Hey guys, welcome back. Today, guys, we are playing Majority in Minecraft. Um, before we this video start, I would like to tell you guys that in this video, I have some limitations, which are I can't go to mine for diamonds. I can't use any fancy clothes and all those stuff. All I have is normal, typical clothes and your H2 sword and my Demon Slayer mark. No rich sword, three, four, five, only two because of the Demon Slayer mark. Those are the limitations. And before we hop into the video, like, subscribe for this video if you enjoy it, and yeah. But uh, after this video, I don't think I'll upload videos often as much because I'll be going back to school, and you know, it's a bit hectic for me. I've got school, I've got three schools. So yeah, since summer's over, I gotta focus on it. I'm sorry about that. But I'll try to make videos if I can. But besides that, follow me on Twitter at Megzox2. And yeah, enjoy the video. So we spawned into a new Demon Slayer world and I encountered a boar which I haven't seen in a while. But of course we need to get wood because yeah. But then after traveling for a bit I found this building which suddenly spawned in. So I decided it was time for me to go and check it out. Then I found a sign which I could not read so I just ignored it. But then after going in for a bit I tried to find some stuff that I might use. And found futon which is going to be really useful for me. Cause you know it didn't make it day and night So of course we'll take it But then I also found some more books Which I decided to take Forgetting that I couldn't use it cause I'm Yorichi I'm not allowed to Yeah I legit forgot the challenge of this episode But hey in the end I did not use it Even though I took it So it's fine okay But after that I continued to kill some animals Cause I will be needing food And also make stone tools And just get it out of the way cause I'll need it More or less so yeah, after getting stone tools, I made some furnaces and got some coal because I'll be needing it to cook the food that I got. Yeah, and after cooking the food, I also plant tree because peace, love, and plants from Mumbo and Jumbo guys. So yeah, we gotta contribute to that. But after the peace, love, and plants, I went down to the cave again to go for some mining and found this enemy and I wanted to kill them but the creeper blew the skeleton up so yeah I'll take that but then yeah right here guys I got some iron because I will be needing the iron to make a full set of iron and full set of tools and all that stuff you know so yeah I just continued mining for iron until I have at least enough to make a full set of iron and after that I found the spider which I killed but yeah, I got it morph, which is really cool, and I tried to transform in it. It's a mod I got, by the way, and it was really cool. I can climb walls, but then sadly, yeah, I nearly killed myself because I took damage. So I just went, nope, no more. But then I got out of the cave, and it turns to be night, which is perfect because we need to kill our first demon. And yeah, that's exactly what I tried to find. First demon. But yeah, not those upper moon and stuff, but yeah, you know, it's fine. You can find one easily. Oh, at least I thought. Yeah, I found Enmu. So I just, yeah, I didn't want to play with Enmu. Enmu, yeah, I don't want to play. But then I walked away and yeah, I found Akaza. Dude, can my luck get any worse than this? Like, I keep finding bad demons. But then I did finally find a demon that I can actually defeat. So yeah, you know, the pillar strat as usual. And I eventually did defeat the demon, and of course become part of the demon slaying corpse. And of course we got the Yorichi sword because we're Yorichi. I totally, guys, I I definitely did not spawn this in. I totally didn't do slash gift as you can see there. I did not do that. You guys are seeing things, but yeah. After that, killed more cows and tried to fight the zombie, but got sneaked attacked by the upper moon one. That was bad of him. He didn't dare to fight me one v one, so sneaked attacked me. But yeah, I'm Yorichi, so I'm came back and get all my stuff, and continue on my journey, and I will get my revenge eventually. But then, guys, I killed more animals, cause why not? We need food. Yeah. But then I found Tamayo's house, which was really cool. And of course, I remember to close the door so they won't go outside and just die in the sun. But yeah, after doing that, I got and found Tamayo. And then got outside, or at least I tried to with the back door and decided to go back to the front door. Yeah, I'm weird. But yeah, after that, I continued on and traveling a really far distance. Because for some reason, the mountain I tried to find was really far. And I nearly killed myself during that, as you can see. Yeah. Careful, guys, when using your breathing to, to move around. You don't want to kill yourself. 
So yeah, careful. Yeah, after that I did finally found get into the mountain I want, which is Mount Giri. And yeah, now this is the start of our first mission and all our adventure. I continue killing on demons. And Moai literally just kept on killing demons and more and more until yeah I found something eventually which was really weird that I find up the moon so frequently in this update. Oh guys I forgot to mention this is a new update by the way for the mod, the latest update. But yeah after that I just kept killing demons I found more upper moons which I do not want to mess with yet cause yeah Akiyoko no I'm not messing with yet. Yeah, I found this Yorichi with like 6 arms, I guess he was added in the new update and I tried to get in because I was afraid of him being hostile. But yeah, I sneaked in really slowly but found that he was not. So I was like, yeah, let's not mess with him for now, I'm not strong enough. So, but he's really cool, you know, 6 arms and a weird eye. Yorichi? I wonder why they didn't add the actual Yorichi to spawn though, but hey, I'll take this one for now. Yeah, I tried to get a screenshot right here and as you can see, yeah, he didn't like it. He ain't want any screenshots. But yeah, after that, I continued killing demons and found Sabito fighting a low mood. So I joined in fighting Sabito. But yeah, as I was fighting Sabito, I found that Tanjiro had a really weird demon solid mark. Yeah, I guess new update again, huh? There's a lot of things here. But yeah, after that, I continued traveling again because I needed to find Mount Natagu to find Rui and his family but on the way I killed more animals because we'll definitely need more food guys food is like an important resource in this mod so yeah basically we got some food but we did find the master place so I went in tried to find master because hey we're the demon slayer we have to respect him tried to respect him by going inside but he just kept jumping on the walls and my Tanjiro joined him so yeah that was that um, yeah, I just got out because didn't want to join them. But yeah, after traveling for a bit more, we finally reached Mount Natagumo where Roy is located. And that was going to be fun, right, guys? Yeah. So, my goal for in this Mount Natagumo was to rank up to Hashira and kill Roy. But yeah, I did find Roy's sister and his family, which was not a challenge at all. And yeah, his father too was not a challenge. I mean, I'm Yorichi, so yeah, they proved no challenge to me. So I continue killing on demons because I needed to rank up, which didn't take long as you can see right here. I ranked up to Hashira, and now guys, I'm ready to take on Rui, a lower moon, by myself without any help. So yeah, that was what I had to do, and Rui was not easy. I'm joking, he was really easy. Yeah, I'm Yorichi, come on guys, did you really expect it to be hard? I'm Yoriichi, the best demon slayer ever. Like, come on. Really, guys? Did you think it was gonna be hard? Of course not. But yeah, after defeating Roy, my I finished my goal in this mountain. So my next goal is to find the Mugen Turing Biome, which took not long, actually. It was quite near, so yeah, that was not hard at all. But after traveling for a bit, we find the Mugen Train Biome with a lot of demons. Yeah, I think Demon just spawned in because the biome is kinda small. But yeah, they spawned in like nuts case. But then I found the love Hashira and asked her to train me. And yeah, I forgot that I'm Yorichi and I'm really powerful. And the love Hashira proved me to be true. He she proved me right. Yeah, she gave me the medal. She like she's like, yeah, you're stronger. And then I fought with Gyu, Gyu and yeah, Gyu was stuck in a pond. But at least that's what I thought. He had made a trap. Like he gave it so that I let my guard down. And as you can see here, I did leave my guard down. And when I did, I nearly got killed by his attack. Yeah, never leave your guard down. Gyu, nice tactic there. But yeah, you're not strong enough yet to defeat the number one demon slayer Yorichi yet. But yeah, I finished my training with him. And then after you, him, Giyu, my next training is with Rengoku, my number one Hashira, my favorite one. The battle with Rengoku was kind of actually really hard, like much harder than the other two. We fought him and then like we were on our last heart and he used Rengoku which is a really powerful move. And yeah, killed me. Yeah, I got defeated by 
him. I don't really mind because, hey, being defeated by Ren Goku, I don't mind. But then, you know me, I'm a really dumb per person. And I was like, you know what, these Yorichi looks kind of fun, so I decided to hit one of them eventually. And yeah, that was not a good decision. They were not strong, but the other Yorichi just went nuts on me. They were like, hey, you hit one of my friends, you ain't getting away with that. So I had to fight them all off, which was not hard, but yeah, it was kind of annoying, even though it's not hard. It was not hard because they were not powerful, so yeah, it was quite easy, but annoying nonetheless. But yeah, it is what it is. That was my decision. But after a while, I did try to find and did eventually found Doma, which is one out of our goal in this episode, and fight with her. Yeah, he was not hard. He was quite easy to battle with as Yorichi. Don't know why, I feel like they debuffed Doma or something, because she was so powerful. But in this fight, he was really easy to fight with. But after Doma, guys, we tried to find more of our goals to our target, which didn't really make sense, because states just spawned in. But yeah, we found Akaza afterwards, and Akaza was actually much harder than Doma. Akaza, holy cow, he was hard, like I nearly got killed by him a few times as you can see but yeah eventually we def still defeated him because you know we're Yorichi we can't be defeated or at least if we are we'll come back and technically we can't be defeated because we'll respawn but then I found upper moon 1 too because yeah he's also one of the goal in this episode so yeah of course I'll have to defeat him but yeah fighting with him was actually kind of hard but we kept getting interrupted by the arrow demon and stuff and even Enmu interrupted he was like let me help but I'm like yeah just get out but then yeah eventually fight with him and he eventually did transform into his second form and knocked me over in the ocean but I was like yeah I'm gonna get back close and yeah then I continued fighting with upper moon one and he transformed again but he was stuck in a hole yeah that was embarrassing of him do people like stucking in a hole or something? Cause yeah, but then eventually I defeated him. He transformed into his final form and yeah, got defeated by Yorichi. Be glad you were defeated by me. But yeah, that was not hard. I mean, I'm Yorichi, what do you expect guys? But yeah, I found Luzon eventually, it took a few days, but I went into a fight with him. Or at least I initiated the fight. And it was quite a hard battle. Like, I had to run away and regen my health, and I used all my Demon Slayer marks and everything. It was still a tough battle, even though I'm Yorichi. I mean, he is the king of all demons, but then he transformed, and that was when it got a bit tougher because of his skill, right here. Like, he used his skill, and I could not use any breathing arts to defend myself. I was basically stuck, and he killed me here, right here. Um, come on. There we go. Right there. But as you reach, I came back in, continued the fight, which still was really hard to fight with. But as I was fighting him, I guess the new update added a lot of things. I didn't check it out. I got this message, and I had a new effect for me, like the Yorichi arm, like Demon Slayer mark, as you can see in the top right, which was really cool. But then I made, tried to make a place for my Demon Slayer, and I automatically attacked. That's when I found out what it was doing. But yeah, I made a brave or memorial place for all the Demon Slayer that helped me. And yeah, that is it guys for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and follow me on Twitter if you can. And goodbye, see you next time guys.